The first year of your dog's life is without a doubt the most important time frame to start training with your dog. Today I'm going to give you an exact schedule and strategy that you can use when it comes to training your new puppy, so keep watching. Our Pitbull Training Masterclass is now live and what it is is I broke down each and every technique that I use with my dog Bo and the secret strategies that I use in order to teach him very sound obedience. This is what helped me build my foundation with my dog, reliable recalls, stop nipping and chewing on my hands, stop pulling on the leash, listen to me when you're called, listen to me at all times, and more. Now everything that I know is put into this masterclass and you can find it in the link in the description. As I said before, the first 50 people to enroll in the masterclass will get a free flirt pull and then will get a free canine tug toy when you enroll. I'm very excited for you guys to go and check this out. It's everything you need to build a solid foundation with your dog's obedience. Now the moment you get your dog, you always hear me say, hey, you need to start training your dog on day one. Of course, this is obvious, but I really wanna break down some of the things you need to be working on in this time frame, from eight weeks all the way until they're a year old and beyond. Now the first eight to 10 weeks is basically when you're bringing your dog home from the new litter that you just bought him from. You just made a transaction and your dog is starting to be accustomed to everything that's going on around them. This is a big change in their lives. They're going from one thing that they know and being with their moms to you know having you as their owner with a brand new setting around them. So when you bring your dog home, when I say dog training starts on day one, this is very basic training, such as getting your dog to be engaged with you. I'm not talking about doing the strict sit down, stay, leave it, and have a recall right away. This is a time where you just want to get your dog to have puppy play. And this is a good time to also start teaching them the name. And you want to start working on your potty training. And you can also start incorporating some crate training in this time period. And I do want to say they do need 100% supervision in this time frame. And if you're not dedicated to giving your dog that supervision in this specific time frame, then I just want to give you a firm warning. You're going to be experiencing some destructive behavior, chewing, peeing in the house, um, all these little puppy things that all of us owners have went through. You're going to be experiencing that and it's not avoidable, but it's definitely preventable. So this is something you need to think about in this small time frame. Now from 10 to 16 weeks, this is around that time where you want to get your dog to fully understand their name. Of course, they're going to have some mishaps, but the understanding of their name needs to be drastically improved. Same with the potty training. Once you go through this routine over and over again, your dog will start to pick up on this stuff. Hey, you need to go outside. Hey, this is your name. Hey, you can't go in this area because it's guarded off with a baby crate or a baby gate, excuse me. Now this time frame is a perfect time to start letting your dog get a little bit more freedom, increments at a time. Maybe you haven't let them in the back room yet and now you can start letting them in that back room. Go experience whatever is in that back room. Uh, just start engaging with other smells, other scents. Let them know, hey, this is where we sleep. This is what I recommend that you do because if you give your dog too much freedom once, then they're gonna have information overload and you don't wanna exhaust the puppy mentally. So you just wanna give them little increments at a time and just start dialing some of your basic training. Now from 16 weeks to eight months old, this is where I think socialization is very important. Now socialization, I just made a video on it last time, but socializing your dog doesn't just mean interacting with dogs. They got to get accustomed to their new lifestyle, whether that's if you're an active person that likes to go everywhere and you want to bring your dog, they need to get accustomed to everywhere you're taking them, vacuums, people in your house, scents, smells, noises, everything needs to start being socialized to them where they're desensitized. Now in this time frame, the obedience doesn't need to be strictly good and reliable, but this is the time where you want to start building a solid foundation with some of the most important obedience commands. Sit down, stay, leave it, come when called, heal, go to your place, things in that nature. This is where you really want to dial in most of this training. And you can find a lot of this training in the Pitbull Masterclass. If you're struggling with this, I break it down exactly how you could do it with a new puppy and older dogs. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description. 
And this is a perfect time period what I would advise you to start leash walking your dog. Start taking your dogs out, walking them, especially if they're already reliable with their obedience inside the home, you can start taking them outside. This could literally be in your front yard and then you could take it a block down and back and then you could just say that's the training for the day. Do it increments at a time. You don't wanna just put overload on your puppy because if you do that, you're setting them up for failure. This is a perfect time to start doing baby steps and taking their training just a little bit further. This is also another important time to start learning your dog. Start seeing what your dog is shaping into. Are they turning aggressive? Are they skittish around certain people? Are they very hyper? All these questions that could be answered just by evaluating your dog in this specific time period. When I had Bo at that young age, I quickly found out that he is gonna be a very active and hyper dog. He's just a hyper dog in nature that's just in his temperament. And if you decide to enroll the Pitbull Training Masterclass, I break down what you could look for in your dog, any warning signs that you might see, if you need to enroll them in a board and train, if you can't do it yourself, which is sometimes the case, unfortunately, but there's nothing wrong with going to professional. But my point here is, this is where you're gonna really see your dog start to sprout into the personality, show exactly who they are. Now from eight months old to a year old, this is where I was telling you, you're gonna see a switch in your dog. Some owners don't, but I've definitely seen a switch in my dog. Now my dog was very hyper, and he all of a sudden started to calm down just a little bit. Although he's still hyper, he just calmed down a lot more, and um, when it's time to go time for like exercise and whatnot, then he's still ready to go, but you could just see a switch. Another example is some owners will be like, all of a sudden my dog just doesn't like other dogs and he's aggressive to other dogs. This could be because your dog just matured and he turned into an adult or she turned into an adult and she just doesn't like other dogs. That is completely okay, but that is just an example. Another example is like how my dog was, it's very hyper, now it's not. Or if it's a dog that's not interested in anything that you have for them, such as brain games or exercise events, and now all of a sudden, they have a lot more drive. Not saying you're gonna completely do a 180 with what your dog is, but I'm just saying you could see your dog change and start wanting to go exercise now, things in that nature. So don't be surprised if you see a switch. But at this time period, your dog's obedience does need to be reliable. Again, we do have a stigma towards the pit bulls that is unfair. So when you're taking your dog out to public, they are already getting shamed in people's minds. They may not tell you, but the people that hate on the pit bulls, they already have cautious boundaries around them. So I very advise you, you need to have your obedience down with your dog. Again, you need to work on some things because one years old is still very young, but if you stick with the process, stay consistent, then I promise you at this time period, it is very realistic that your dog is starting to listen to you almost 100% of the time. Now, one to two years old is a whole different ball game. You're gonna see your dog fully matured into what they are. You can also start working on more advanced training, such as off-leash training, protection work, trying to get your dog into more bite work and stuff like that. You can start introducing some weight pulling, some intense exercises that you see me and my dog Bo doing, some uh, parachute work, more flirt pull action, things in this nature, adding a weight vest, this is the perfect time to start experiencing with your dog what they like and see what works best for them. They're already adult at this stage and you're gonna see very clearly what you need to work on if you need to work on something. This is the part where it gets a lot more fun in my opinion because you could just have a companion. You could have someone that is just your best friend and that's my favorite part of the actual, like the age of my dog if I'm being honest with you. Puppy phase is cute and all but it's very stressful. This is my favorite time because they're shaping into what I thought they would be, like how my dog Bo has. But if you really wanna get some actionable techniques and strategies how to train your dog, I highly advise you to go and roll into the Pitbull Training Masterclass. There'll be a link in the description. Now I broke all these time periods how I trained my dog when he was just a puppy, but you don't have to be strictly following this. I wanna break it down to you what the dog is able to do when they're a puppy, what you should be working on and dialed in. I know some people wanna mix it here and there. Teach them this at a younger age rather than when they're older, and that's perfectly fine. You could follow your own routine. You should build a plan around your dog so they can have the best training possible. 
I have another video on basic obedience that you can start training your dog at the end of this video. I highly advise you go click on that and go and check that out. I will see you there. Thank <laughs> you.